percent was uh, political regime, uh, propaganda, and the rest of five minutes was uh, weather. In the rest, nothing, including sport, was a uh, special thanks to the leader. In radio was different because uh, the public radio uh, operated broadcast on two channels, two national channels, 14 hours per day each. For sure, the propaganda exists on radio, but I think uh, I know that it was less than 25 or 30 percent because those uh, people who work in radio at that time was intelligent enough to fulfill the program with culture, uh, with sport, with uh, programs for uh, uh, education, for young uh, generation, you know, uh, there were uh, foreign languages courses, music, international music, at that time was uh, difficult. So radio was uh, more free. In 89, uh, during that meeting, when uh, Ceausescu uh, left, the TV uh, stopped broadcast as usually when something difficult happened, the TV cannot how to react, didn't know how to react, and they interrupt the broadcasting and goodbye, nothing. Uh, radio continued to broadcast, it was some interesting moments there because uh, uh, at that time the political uh, you know uh, management uh, tried to uh, move into the studios but it was no action inside they realized that this is it this is and uh, everything moved on uh, the TV uh, come back on broadcast after, you know, half an hour with uh, the same attitude, with the same anchors, and it was a delay of understanding what's happened in TV for a few hours. The people was you imagine in the country, all the people was in front of TV or listening to the radio. Uh, so, radio broadcast continues and switch on immediately, TV have delay of hours. After that, uh, it was a difficult time because this transition takes time. It's not easy. Um, for radio and for TV, it was easy, I know, two or three years in terms of competition because they were alone on the market.